Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, the Canadian Snowman, and we're here with some more geography now. Uh, a little something different. Uh, we've done all the countries up until this point, and we will continue to do so until well, until all the countries are done. But they're not they're, they're not released yet. So, but I will definitely jump on top of it. One second, my thing is beeping over here, so I'm gonna pull the plug. And yeah, there we have. It. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh. So I can't do any more countries right now until they're released, but when they do get released, I'll jump into it. It was suggested that I do administrative divisions, which I guess is just, you know, more detailed of different parts of the world. I don't know. Uh, I'm starting from the top of the playlist. That's how I do it. So there's no like, why are you doing this country first? You know, it's <laughs> so uh, it's the United States, all 50 U.S. states summarized pretty much. So, uh, and for those of you who don't know, I'm Canadian, but I do live in the States. So there's that. Uh, but anyways, I got my green card and all that stuff. But anyways, guys, we're going to jump into this. I, I'm actually, you might know a little bit about some of these states. Uh, I'd actually like to do this eventually down the line. They do a series on all 50 states and it ain't going to be anytime soon. I'm just saying, but anyways, before we do, please hit that like and subscribe button before we start this video. That'd be great help. Thank you very much. And yeah, we're going to jump into this. Doo -doo -doo. This one's like from four years ago. So, uh, yeah, this is like, I guess the, the quality and it's probably gonna be a lot different. I'm sure we're not going to have all like the guest stars that, for those of you who have been watching uh, the GR Free Now videos with me, you know, the, the guest hosts and stuff like that, you know, that we've been used to recently. I'm guessing this is they're not going to be in this video because he looks you know, a lot younger and this it, it looks a very different. So kind of curious. Which makes sense because when the videos first came out, they were like 10 minutes long and this one's like 13 minutes long and then they end up getting to be like 33 minutes long. So. Definitely the earlier parts here. But anyways, I'm sorry for delaying. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and three, two, one, bam. Hey, Jack yeah. peeps. So this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while, but never really had time until now. So of course, the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the US. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community. I just say that most of my subscribers are also from the US, because uh, it gives us a geography of where people are from. But the more vocal ones are definitely from Europe. I'm just pointing it out for like, as far as most of my audience does come from U S but the most vocal ones come from Europe, which I guess makes sense since considering all the war videos I do are from usually around the Europe area and people from Europe know a lot more about those wars than me, a Canadian and the, us in the States. So I just, it definitely makes more sense for the ones in Europe or wherever I'm covering to be more vocal about, uh, you know, in the comments section and stuff like that about, you know, what I'm watching because they just know that, you know, that stuff a lot more than I do. I just point that out. But anyways, yeah, we're going to get back to this. Um, you know, my home country, the U.S. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the U.S. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities, and I'm going to try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor, but they party equal. This is where I live. <laughs> this is the first one. I live in Alabama. I live on the coast. Uh, so yeah, I'm Canadian, so it's definitely, definitely different. It was definitely different when I moved here. One of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Roll Tide! No, but seriously, Alabama is kind of like where the Confederacy started, so, uh, yeah, Civil War. Alaska, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up. It's the largest and coldest state. You can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Arizona, the Grand Canyon state. This is kind of like the King Desert state of the U.S. Arizona is also home to... I, I want to go to the Grand Canyon. I've heard that it's, I'm going to get beat up here, that it's kind of like a, a waste of time because 
it takes like a two hour drive at least i think i heard to get there and then obviously it's a big hole uh i don't know i don't know i i just heard it's kind of a disappointment but you know if it, if it wasn't that far to go i definitely like to see it i think it'd be really cool and awe inspiring to see so i probably will end up seeing it but i just maybe people are in the area can let me know in the comments i'm sorry i'm not trying to diss nobody but anyways they're flying through these states, you know, so. And roll tide from Alabama game. Canyon State. This is kind of like the King Desert State of the U.S. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas. Basically, just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows. It basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the U.S., it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously, California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, yeah, the state of California population is bigger than the entire country of Canada. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, right? That one state has a bigger population than all of Canada. Man, it is, it's pretty packed up in there, you know? I don't know. California is still heavily dependent on the U.S. government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, our healthiest state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware. The first state to become a state and that's like literally all they got going for them I think they have like a cardboard box factory Florida America's swampy playground seriously like none of the houses here have basements because if you I Mean like yeah, and also you get stuck by hurricanes. I mean, I've been struck by hurricanes I mean, I had like one blog in my from last year where I got struck by hurricane and showed a lot of damage here that when I got hit but yeah, but Florida is a great big if you're coming over coming to visit, you know, the states, Florida is definitely a great big if you're going to go to Orlando with Disney World, Epcot Center, all that stuff, you know, definitely a great place to visit. I mean, Florida is just nice, period. But anyways, it is swampy. They do have alligators. Three, Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have basements because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger, and then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach state, home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the US, boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some places do that in America. Hawaii, the last state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country like it was a Polynesian country they had their own monarchy and everything Lili Ukulani was the last queen it's pretty cool otherwise you know the rest hula surfing pineapples luau's yada 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 Idaho the only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state I mean apparently they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges otherwise I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about Illinois ah the land of Lincoln even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky now I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state and a lot of people know this place by another name Chicago seriously like half the time people don't even know what state Chicago is in and historically it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered and also because okay. and there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia past Indiana is like Illinois annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson no but seriously like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race otherwise John Green is from here Iowa Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana, ah, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the U.S. that has concentrated 
Francophone communities that speak French, kind of. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, yeah. reptiles, and other swamp creatures, this place is unlike anywhere else in the US. Maine, the lobster state. This is like where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland, Maryland is like home to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab, crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab, you cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is like the library of America and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan. I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century, you are like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in US history. Minnesota, I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that I live there that. as well. The land of 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just, uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey kids, let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. <laughs> yeah, I grew up with that accent. Mississippi. This is like probably America's truest, deepest, southern, southern, y'all put some butter on my grits state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed I know a lot of guys like said, here we go, here's got the map up here. I live in Alabama, right here on the coast, you know, the Gulf Coast right here. And so obviously I've been to, through Mississippi, I've been to New Orleans, you know, I've been down, you know, I've been through the French Quarter and I've been to Florida, I've been, you know, been through Atlanta, like flying to, you know, Toronto, Canada and everything. I've flown through that airport quite a few times. It is pretty massive. Uh, and I just know a lot of these states here just because of like college football around here, you know, Roll Tide. Uh, you end up knowing the area just because of just watching college football. But like everywhere in the middle here, like I've never been anywhere, anywhere Texas and West have never been anywhere. Like we're basically down this line here. I haven't been anywhere to the West, but I've kind of been kind of all the zigzag around everywhere, kind of right in New York and been in you know, Michigan, all that stuff. New York is crazy. I'm sorry if you're watching from New York. That is like the craziest place I've ever been to as far as people driving. I think, I don't know if it's the worst drivers in the world or the least patient drivers in the world, but they'd be going on curves and cutting you off and going everywhere. What's up with New York and driving? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just my experience from any every where I've been, you know, New York has just been the craziest when it comes to driving. Anyways, back to the show. Missouri, America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people and people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, America's big, empty, mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne, and Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Oh, and Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we yeah. bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. To Rock there. on Nevada. New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges. Home oh. to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened and now he came out with like six pack abs and a sleek new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never 
never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access pipeline controversy drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes, however Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws, but then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore, so they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak <laughs> show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here, and technically at one point our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island, our smallest state, and it's not even an island, not even a peninsula. <laughs> Rhode Island. Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family Guy, but that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota. The other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians. Mountain folk. Bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups. Cattle ranches are everywhere, and contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah. Basically, everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise, they have great skiing. The Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site oh. in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise, the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is kind of like- Oh God, I wasn't gonna bring that. They actually, I actually just watched the news, but you know, Ben and Jerry's, <laughs> uh, they're not gonna be selling ice cream, you know, in a certain, certain areas, uh, which is definitely interesting. Uh, I shouldn't even brought that up, but I think it's, I always think it's funny when like you watch some, you just watch something like the news and it is brought up in a video. Ben and Jerry's delicious though. I, I, love, I love Ben and Jerry's. Anyways. Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is kind of like where everything started with the US. Essentially, the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically, imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano erupted in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like okay. the southernmost like state that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40, and we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin, America's dairy land. Now, my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along 
along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons of buffalo and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual oh, cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here sometimes, Congress assembles mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras are every They're everywhere. I've, it's, I've been to Washington when I was like 10. Uh, when I was when I went to be into Virginia and all that in the same trip when I was a kid, and I, I've seen all that Washington Monument and stuff. But I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't care. And I remember like Buggy, my dad. My dad was so interested in all the history and stuff when we were on vacation. And, <laughs> and I was I remember even to this day, he's like, yeah, I couldn't even learn anything because you didn't want to be there. <laughs> uh, that always comes to mind when I think of Washington. <laughs> Anyways. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras are everywhere. So have fun! Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to work to save up for my heritage trip that me and my mom are taking. And as you guys know, one way I'm doing that is by doing more of these sponsored videos. And I'm very happy to announce that a great company called Skillshare has decided to sponsor Geography Now. What is Skillshare? Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with over 15,000 classes covering everything from photography to cooking to JavaScript. I'm personally keeping my eye on the line. Thanks, Skillshare. You guys rock. Great learning material. Check them out. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Subscribe. Okay. Stay cool. Stay tuned. Man, I felt like that was just like being like information kind of overload. He went through those states like crazy. Uh, definitely interesting stuff because I, I I didn't I only knew I might have knew like half of that stuff. Uh, I mean a lot. I mean a lot of that stuff. Maybe I mean I might have known. Just like I guess, if you live if you live in the states or can kind of common sense stuff that I guess you kind of heard about. I mean, if you live off in Europe, probably don't know any of that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how much you know of you know the specifics of the states uh, get brought up over there. But being you know growing up in Canada and everything, you get a lot of like American kind of TV and shows like that. So you kind of kind of know you I kind of knew about some of that stuff. But once I moved to the states, I kind of you know, sort of learn a lot more about, you know, this kind of stuff because it's just on the news and you just hear about it from friends, family, people, or whatever around here. So, anyways, uh, definitely an interesting video. Please hit that like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this. I, I really hope you did. Uh, like I said, I, I'd love to do a video, like a series on every state, you know, like it'll tell, or maybe there's like a 10 minute video of every state, you know. I, I couldn't sit through like a 30 minute video of every state. I mean, I think it's cool when you do with the countries and stuff, but I, I could I couldn't do that when it comes I mean, when it's just like a state, you know, sitting through a long there's longer videos. But anyways, guys, definitely a cool video. Definitely uh, over very quickly. Uh, that was definitely over fast, I and mean, he was talking fast through it. And uh, yeah, good job. You can definitely tell some of his earlier work, but definitely some great work uh, that Geography Now has done. But uh, definitely, uh, like subscribe. Another great video. I don't even know where we're going next. It was on the playlist here. The states and territories of India explained. Ooh, that'll be really interesting because, you know, we've done, obviously I've done geography now, India, and, but it'd be kind of cool to get more down deeper into India. So definitely stay tuned for uh, India. But anyways, yeah, guys, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm out of here. Peace. Have a great night, great day. Woo, out.